Hey. Hey. Going to a party? Yeah. One of the homicide detectives from day shift is having a retirement party tomorrow. I got saddled with picking up a gift from night shift. That's Lieutenant Briggs, right? Hasn't she been with the force for something like 35 years? Almost to the day. And when the first female African-American detective in the department retires, you better believe they're making a big deal out of it. For sure. So how's life? Not too bad. Busy day. You know how it is. Let me know if you identify a suspect. I will. Gotta find a suspect first. What's now? Something tells me the happy couple left a few more secrets hiding in their honeymoon suite. Yeah. Let's head back there then. Back to the Euralia's Fantasy Suites. There's something well hidden here. We need to find it. Lots of blood in this sink. Makes sense. That much blood spatter, the killer would have been a mess. Let's head to Pleasure City and ask what kind of lap dances our victim was doing. She had a secret life. We gotta find some find out about it. Let's ask her co-workers. Las Vegas. Welcome to Pleasure City. Pleasure City sort of redefines the concept of civic duty. Sorry, we're closed. Ma'am, we're here from the Vegas Crime Lab. We're here following up on a murder investigation. May we get your name, please? Kathy. Kathy Bird. You said murder. Who got murdered? Do you know Lynn Bowder? Lynn Bowder? Yeah, why? I'm afraid she was found dead at Aurelia's Fantasy Suites. Oh my god! I just saw her last night! You saw Lynn last night? Was, she, was that here? Yes, it was. We were both working. She spent most of her time dancing for this one guy. Can you tell us more about that one guy she was with? Well, I didn't get a real good look at him because the club was busy and it was dark as hell and I was working. I think he was Mexican, though. Not real tall. And she was, like, grinding all over the guy. I mean, he must have had some serious cash on him. That's our guy. Short Mexican, five foot six. Where exactly did Mr. Bowder dance for this gentleman? Like I said, I can't remember exactly, but I think she was in that chair over there. The one turned away from the stage. She liked to have room to dance. What time did Lynn leave with this man? Wow, I'm gonna guess midnight? They left together sometime around midnight, but I'm not 100% on that. How well did you know Lynn? Not real well, I mean, you know, she used to work here a few years ago. We used to hang out some, but then she got married to a real loser and left town. Really, a real loser? Anyway, I didn't hear from her until two weeks ago. She called and came by the club. You know, she said she wanted to work the pole here for a few nights, make a little quick and dirty cash. Lynn Bowder called you after you haven't spoken in a few years? Well, yeah, we were kind of close back then. She really wanted to move back to Vegas. Her marriage to the Marine hit the rocks. She finally got smart and left the son of a bitch. And it's like I said, she wanted to come back here and make some money. She thought I could put in a good word for her with the management, and I did. Do you know anyone who might have uh, had a problem with Lynn? Did she have any enemies? A jealous ex-boyfriend, maybe. 
Lynn? She was her own worst enemy. No, I mean, Lynn was a really cool person and all, but she wasn't always the most reliable person, if you know what I mean. Have you ever been to Aurelia's Fantasy Suites? Me? Are you kidding? No frickin' way. I wouldn't set foot in that dump. That place is pathetic. Not even last night. <laughs> Look, last night I was here till, like, dawn, and then I went straight home. I was exhausted. You try serving drinks all night in six-inch heels. Could Lynn have gotten married last night? Married? I really don't think so. I mean, she was still married to Buzzcut in Baghdad, and that was a total train wreck, so I can't really see her going all big love on me and taking home husband number two. Me either. I can't see that. Something's strange. Those look like some nasty bruises on your arms. What is that? Yeah, guy last night got a little grabby. Security bounced him. He's lucky that's all they did. Hurt like a son of a bitch. Hmm. Anything else you can tell us? No, not really, but you know, if I remember something, I'll be sure to give you guys a call, okay? Good, Good luck with everything. We appreciate you taking the time to answer our questions. Let's have a look at that chair. There are probably plenty of prints on those poles, but they're not the ones we want. Now we might be getting somewhere. This palm print means someone was forced to sit on his hands last night. Now, from what I hear, that's not exactly the M.O. of a local dancer. Keep going. We have to check the whole chair. It's Jim Brass. Somebody tried to use Lynn Bowder's credit card in an ATM off Eastern. Swing by my office when you get a chance. You guys gotta head over there ASAP. But I gotta finish up with this chair. Okay, we're looking at a lot of prints in here, my friend. Finding a connection to Lynn Bowder might seem like we're looking for a needle in a haystack, but, you know, that's exactly what it is. Well, hell, that's why they pay us the big bucks, am I right? That's right. We get the big bucks. We got one. Lots more chair to search, though. Another one. Great. All right. We've been over every inch of that chair. Watching your technique, I'm pretty sure we found what there is to find. So what do we do now, huh? Let's hope there's some trace of our victim at the club. And hey, maybe a trace of the killer, too, for Brass's sake. All right. So I guess we head back to the lab. Materials lab or the data lab? Data lab. Fingerprints. Iram Dominguez. That's quite a rap sheet. Matches.
match. Okay. Well, what the patrons of Pleasure City don't know can't hurt him, I guess. Police officer was at the club. Victim Lynn Bowder's 10 card. And then we got the transsexual's fingerprint on the lap dance chair. Finger from the lower right of the lap dance chair. Negative. How about from the upper left of the lap dance chair? The upper left. We got a match. We got a match. Mr. Iram Dominguez's prints are a match to those we found with Lynn Bowder's prints. And this guy definitely has a history of violence. His current address is in Los Angeles, California. He might have already skipped town. We need brass to put out a bolo on his vehicle right now. Yeah, we do. So what do we do? We head over to, to Brass's office. Yo, what Brass. Do you need? We need to bring Arim and Dominguez in for questioning. What evidence do we have? We have the fingerprint of Aram Dominguez. And we also have the fingerprint on the lower right of the dance chair. You got Dominguez's prints at Pleasure City where Lynn Bowder was working. And the night manager's description of the guy who checked into the Cupid suite last night seems to fit Dominguez pretty well. So he's definitely a person of interest. I just don't think a judge is going to issue a warrant hey, for you. Hey, 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 hey. But I'll tell you what I can do. I'll put out a bolo on the guy and try to pick him up for questioning. So in the meantime, you can do me a favor and show Dominguez's photo to either of our witnesses. It would be nice to know if one of them recognizes him as the person they saw last night. Yep. Good idea. Okay, let's take that picture and head over to the witnesses. Where are our witnesses? Got our witness at the Aurelia Fantasy Suites. This should be interesting. Let's show him the picture. Do you yeah, recognize that's, this guy? That's the dude, man. Yeah. That's, that's the yeah. Mexican. I mean, the dude who, you know, checked in with the dead lady last night. That's that's him, I swear. So there's a, there's not like a reward or something, is there? Well, I got some good news for you. We just picked up Iron Dominguez standing on the edge of I-15 trying to solicit a ride out of town, which is technically illegal in Nevada. So on top of that, Mr. Dominguez is in violation of his parole for domestic battery back in the Golden State. So he'll be staying with us for a few more days if you'd like to come down and have a chat with him. Brass has Dominguez in custody? Score one for the bolo. Now we ought to be on the lookout for a way to tie him to the murder. Let's see what he has to say for himself. to the guy first. What brought you to Las Vegas? Came to sell my truck. How much you get for it? Couple G's, I guess. Not bad. It buys you a pretty good night at Pleasure City. Pleasure City? Yeah, sure. You trying to ask me if I was there last night? Is that a crime, officer? How'd you get that bruise? I got rolled just walking down the street right after I left Pleasure City. I mean, you guys got a very dangerous city here, I'm telling you. Bastard got all the money I had left. Really? That's why you picked me up hitchhiking on the side of I-15. Oh, yeah. Which, you know, it would have been nice if somebody let me know is like totally illegal. Oh, I believe you. Ha ha ha. So, did you meet Lynn Bowder at Pleasure City? 
Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I go for the boobs, not the names. Well, is that why you took Lynn to Aurelia's Fantasy Suites? But maybe by that point you'd blown the two Gs. Lynn wasn't giving up anything for free. And you weren't gonna take no for an answer. <laughs> you two get into it, and you put an end to it by stabbing her in the throat. Am I right? Jeez, man, are you crazy? What the hell are you talking about? I came in to sell my truck, I sold my truck. Then I went to the strip club. I had some beers, bought some dances. Then I decided to go home. End of story. We have witnesses who saw you with Lynn Bowder. So what? You ain't gonna find nobody who said they saw me kill that chick. And you know why? Because I am innocent. I didn't do nothing. But if you want to throw my Latino ass in jail, you better come correct. Because I'm going to find me a very good lawyer to sue all your asses. You feel me? Mr. Dominguez, <laughs> with or without a lawyer, your hitchhiking arrest lets us take your DNA. Open your mouth, please. We're going to get some DNA out of you. Ha ha ha. We also need the clothes you wore yesterday. That's not going to be a problem. We have Mr. Dominguez's overnight bag in the property room. <laughs> we got ya! Ever been to Aurelia's Fantasy Suites? What is it? Is that a club? It's the hotel where Lynn Bowder was found murdered. Hey now, there's no way you can put that on me. I never been to any Fantasy Suites. Did you put that ashtray in Lynn's throat? Whoa, take it easy, man. I'm no killer. I never touched that ashtray. So what? I didn't break that glass. We may not have evidence to prove that yet, but if it's out there, we'll find it. We'll be back. We'll be back to talk to you later. We need to go get some evidence. Hello there, I don't believe we've met. I'm Dr. Raymond Langston. Working on some fingerprints there, Doc? One fingerprint in particular, actually. I managed to pull a partial off a cannoli form that might be our murder weapon. But I don't think there are enough identifiable minutia to make a match. Care to take a crack at it? Search this... search this bastard. What do we got here? What do we have here? You did it. Thank you. You just helped me solve this case. <laughs> Let's head back to the interview. Like I told you, I never been to any fantasy suites. Really? How come your blood is at the fantasy suites? We found your blood at the scene of the crime. You lied to us. Care to revise your statement? Jeez. Oh, come on, man. I didn't kill her. I don't know what happened, okay? Yeah, I took both ladies back to the fantasy suites. We got a room. We got it going on. There's just no way, man, that I could have killed her. Both ladies? There were two women with you? Yeah, it was the redhead's idea. She said they was roommates or something, said they like to share. Like I'm gonna say no to that. 
Kathy Bird has red hair. Did you hear any names? For the blonde, I didn't, but I think she called the redhead cat. I guess the cat is out of the bag. I'm gonna find Kathy Bird's address. The wedding dress? Oh man, it's stupid. It's like I told the girls I was getting divorced. That's why I was selling my truck and spending all the money. Cause I promise you, I ain't giving that nagging bitch one dime. Anyway, the redhead brought the wedding dress over to the hotel, even got a tux for me. She said it were gonna give me a divorce party I never forget. It was pretty sweet for a while. Yeah, well, it's all fun and games until someone loses their life. Wanna tell us where you really got those bruises? It was all going pretty good until I ran out of money, right? Then that red-haired bitch tried to kick me out of the damn room that I paid for. And I was like, no way, I'm gonna get what I got coming. Sure, because you earned it, right? That's right, that's what I said. So I stepped to Blondie to see what's up. And yeah, okay, I admit that I had been partaking of some alcoholic beverages and I may have snorted some coke. But red hair bitch get all up in my face first. She's screaming and pushing and punching on me, saying, get out, get out. And I just defended myself. I think I just shoved her back a bit. And then when I turn around to, you know, apologize to Blondie, boom, lights went out. And I don't remember a damn thing after that. So, why didn't you call the police? You regained consciousness, and you saw Lynn Bowder lying there in a pool of her own blood. Is it that hard to dial 911? I woke up, I see her lying there, dead. I couldn't remember a damn thing about what happened. I didn't know what was going on. Truth is, I got a record and all I thought was, who the hell's gonna believe me? Don't worry, Mr. Dominguez. The truth might just set you free. We're gonna wanna match up all the pieces of glass we can find. able to get some DNA off that. Mm. All right. That's good. Hey. I'm going to need to see some evidence before I go to a judge. The problem here is, I don't see how these things are connected. Do you have enough evidence? I do. There. Yes. You found Kathy Bird's DNA at the crime scene. Means she lied. And that's the probable cause we need to get a warrant to search her apartment. And if we find anything there that ties her to Lynn's murder, we know where to come for the arrest warrant. 